Hey guys, and welcome back to another Pokemon card opening. More Paladin Fates today. Alright, so, I know in the last video, I'm pretty sure in the last video, the Charizard X10, I was like, you know, I think this might be the last Paladin Fates I'm doing for a while. Uh, I lied to you. I Blatantly, I lied to you. Uh, because, after the tin was released, they did one more product, and honestly, this product might actually be the best thing that's happened to Pokemon cards in the last few years. You know, they started it with... Lost Origin back there, and everybody was like, whoa, what is this? But a booster bundle, that you don't know, is basically just six packs. That's it. They bundle them together in a box, so you know they're not weighed or tampered with or whatever. And they can also sell it to you for a little more than six packs individually. Or I think it's a little less. I think it's like a, a collection thing. I actually think it is definitely a little less. That's my bad. But, yeah. Six packs, there's no fluff, there's no promos, there's no codes. It's just six packs packs and for a special set like Paladin Fates or like 151 that came before it this is honestly a lifesaver because you know those sets you can't buy a single pack you can't buy a booster box so if you want a larger quantity of packs you're either gonna have to buy the tin and get maybe a permit you already have uh, that was a big problem for Hidden Fates I remember a lot of people only bought the tins and they have like a bunch of just the Gyaradoses or Raichus left over or it's like Shining Fates and the best way to get it is to just open up ETBs. And a lot of people get sick of all that sleeves and the dice and whatever just taking up a lot of space. And the fact that, you know, it's a little more expensive than this. But this product in particular is genuinely one of the best things that has happened to the Pokemon card game. But with that aside, today we're going to be opening up the Paldean Fates Booster Bundle. And inside the Booster Bundle, you are going to get just six packs of Paldean Fates. So here I'll just give a little spin for you. It's very fancy. They're going hard on the whole uh, type design, like on the ETB it was on there with the tins and stuff. It's a cool design. It's just not really what I thought they'd go for. That's a better look for it. You know, you get like the normal energy with the little normals around it, electric. You know, they all have little funky designs. I do wonder if they put fairy on there. They did not. They officially phased out fairy. Uh, usually... Uh, even on early Sword and Shield, I remember they had fairy energies and stuff still. But nope, completely gone now. Which is fine. We didn't really need it. It's just kind of like, why would you introduce it and get rid of it later? But that's not what this video is about. It's about Paladin and Fates. And I think I've blabbered on for long enough. You guys know what this set is. You guys have seen these shiny sets before. You uh, Definitely you've seen other people open this or have opened it yourself by the time you're seeing this video. So I really don't need to go and explain. I'm going to use this pen right here to get it open. Uh, what this set actually is. But in case you don't know, for some reason or another, I just bent the box. Um, this set includes, I think, like 130 secret rares, which is kind of nuts when you think about it. Because the base set is just basically reprints and it has like 90 cards total. I honestly think... Between the ETB we opened and the Charizard EX10, we are only missing, like, a few hollows. And then I had the base set completed. Uh, obviously, aside from EXs and stuff. And, man, I can't get this open. I think the pen's actually just making it harder. Uh, I do have a box cutter in my room somewhere for, funny enough, purposes like this where I have an Amazon box that I can't get open. Or, I guess, a Pokemon product. Um, but, yeah, there we go. Usually, I have no problem with the plastic wrap, but this time, I guess we will. Oh yeah, I actually do like it. A, I do like the box a little bit more with the booster, booster with the plastic wrap taken off. Obviously, I did. Can you see that? I bent that. That was all me. Maybe that will give us better luck or worse luck. All right, and then there's a little cover. Unlike the ETBs and stuff, you don't get a design on the inside. It is just kind of a basic cover. I'll put it up there. Why not? And then you get Pikachu on the front with Paldean Fates. I actually like this design more than say what they did with Lost Origin. Uh, actually. It's basically the same thing as what they did with Lost Origin. Of course, I opened this up a few years back now. Um, I think it's just because it's simpler. Like, they went just the black with the Pikachu on it. I think it honestly looks better. I think Lost Origin just might be a little bit too complicated. And then on the back, just like that, has the set logo and then the four cover art Pokemon. I'll go ahead and put Lost Origin back in the backdrop. Like so. Hopefully that Squirtle doesn't fall down. And yeah, it should just pop right off. Just like so, and give us six booster packs of Paldean Fates. One, two, three, four, five, six. Weirdly enough, it is three Dondozo packs and three Pikachu packs. Um, I remember when I got, or not when I got, I didn't actually get any product when I went, but I went to Walmart a little while back and they had a three pack blister. It was the um, 
not dash buns, the Fido one, and it had three Tinkaton packs in it. And I was like, that is so funny. And now we have three Pikachu, three Dondozo, instead of getting, you know, uh, who's left? Cerulege and Tinkaton, yeah. So, honestly, we got the better cover arts. I think Pikachu and Dondozo are the best cover arts on the whole set. So we got pretty lucky, all things considered. And well, that, uh-oh, did I break it? Oh, I did, look at that, I bent the box. Oops, well, that's not closing. Here, I'll put it back in the sleeve. I don't know why I care so much about getting it in the background, but I do. Also, something I just noticed on that box is, yeah, oh my god, I didn't even notice that. There's a little Tatsugiri in his mouth. That's so cute. I, I don't know how I didn't notice that before. All right, yeah. So, um, let's just do Dondozo Pikachu, Dondozo Pikachu, Dondozo Pikachu. All right, and let's get into it. So, obviously, in case you do not know, uh, there are also Illustrator Rares in the set, one of which is a Wug Trio. So, that is, of course, my chase card for the set. If I pull that, I will pop off probably more than if we pull the Charizard, because honestly, I love that card. I would also accept any baby shinies of Pokemon I like, uh, mainly the Wiglet line surprise, or uh, the Oddish line would also be pretty cool. So here is your code for the very first pack. Of course, I do give away all the codes, because I do not play the Pokemon card game online, and I have no desire to, so they're all yours. Every card I've ever opened on this channel, I've given away the code. Aside from maybe one that I missed on accident. But we're going to start the first pack off with Barboach, Numel, Maractus. We got Paldean Student, Technical Machine, Machine Crisis Punch, Graplox, Numel's Backpack, a first chance for a shiny. It is! It is a Pidgeot EX, a full art shiny. Very nice. I believe it's actually one of the better cards in the set. Our second card is an Atticus, and the final card is a Magmortar, which is one of the ones that we were missing. So that was a... Extremely good pack. Let's see up the Pidgeot EX and a fantastic way to start this opening. Of course, Pidgeot EX originally from Obsidian Flames, I believe, uh, since all of these cards are reprints of full art EXs. So, one pull, and it's already a billion times better than our last episode. And I also think I like it more than the EX we got in the. Uh, ETB too. I think I do like it more than the Glamora we were able to pull out of there. I guess spoilers if you haven't seen that video. But yeah, Pidgeot EX is a fantastic start to this opening. So, in case you are unaware, the way these pack works is that they can be up to three hits in a pack. So essentially, the first reverse hall slot in the new Scarlet and Violet packs can be a shiny or a shiny Pokemon EX like we got. The second slot in the pack will be a illustrator rare if there is one and the final card will just be an ex or a full art trainer but our second pack starts with gimme ghoul lechonk execute char cadet artisan lantern moonlit hill reverse hall of a ghastly so we did not get a shiny this time we have a palafin all right we got another illustration rare unfortunately not one of the ones we wanted but palafin is an extremely cool looking card, Jesus. And the final card is Magmortar again. But wow, look at this illustrator. That is fantastic artwork. I think I actually like it more than the Palmy. I think it just has more of a cooler design than Palmy in general. But yeah, we got Palafin, everybody. Of course, it could have been the other, other water type guy, but hey, I will not complain. That is a phenomenal start to this booster bundle opening and that already makes up for the the lackluster pulls we had in the charizard ex team however uh with all good things our luck will probably come to an end and i'm assuming we might hit a dud pack or two here in the middle just because of how probability works and stuff but you never know we could just get six for six which would be crazy if we did uh we start with chin chow a woobat scraggy gimme ghoul prime ape artisan Lantern, Maractus is our first reverse holo, second reverse holo is a Frigibax, and the last card is an Executor. So, just like I said, probably going to strike out here because we did genuinely just get two amazing cards in a row. So honestly, probably should have saved those packs for last if I had foresight or could see through these packs or whatever. But alas, that is how gambling works. So, I mean... When you think of gambling, you know, there's always a chance to hit big twice in a row. We could still get that Wug Trio or even the Charizard, which would be just an incredible opening if we were able to do that. And again, just like a lot of these modern card openings, these codes are filthy. Don't even know if the camera was able to pick that up. But yeah, they just have like a, a thick film of dirt over them. 
which is a little gross, actually. But we start with Mankey. Do not believe we've seen that card yet. Magmar, Nimona, Charmander, of course, Scrafty, Curlia, and Gengar. Reverse Hollow of a Hoppip. That is a very cool Pokemon. And I knock something over on the shelf that I am very fond of. All right. Second card is a Dash Buns. And the final card is a Mimikyu. So this Hoppip was originally from, I believe, Paldea Evolved. And it is a very cool grass type shiny, which I am always a fan of, in case you didn't know. Uh, the grass type is my favorite type of any type in the game, because I think it has the most consistent design pattern overall, with them all being, you know, plants. And I also just think a lot of them are cute, like Hoppip back there. That's why I'm actually a big fan of Vileplume. But we do still have two packs left to go. And we already have three hits out of our only six packs. So actually, that is a very impressive pull rate so far. So oh, we're going to get this one opened up. This code's actually less dirty than the other ones. There's also your energy. And this pack starts with Clavopus, Varum, Mankey again, Magmar, not an M, Pokemon, Atticus, Mousehold, Reverse Hollow is... A Tinka Tough, all right? We are doing absolutely phenomenal with this opening. Second card is a Barboach, and the final card is a Cerulege. Wow. Jesus Christ. Is this my apology for only getting one in the last video? Because apology accepted. We have Tinka Tough. Could be wrong. Uh, it's either going to be from Scarlet and Violet Base or Paradox Rift. I believe it's from Scarlet and Violet Base. I could be 100% wrong with that. And we do also have one car or one pack left and one chance left for our beautiful boy wug trio so let's finish this video off strong but honestly if we didn't i would be a okay with that there's the code there's your grass energy and the final pack of today starts with dedene noibat chimeco ghastly iona camerupt electric generator reverse hollow is a noibat Second Reverse Hollow, a Woobat, and the final card. It's a Fortress EX. And this is a Terra Pokemon EX. I believe this is actually the first Terra Pokemon EX that we have pulled so far on the channel. We've pulled a Full Art or two, I believe Hoopa, and... There's another one. We've pulled Hoopa, I know that, in that Paradox Rift ETB opening. And there was definitely another one at some point. But yeah, this is the first normal style EX our normal style of Terra EX, I guess, that we've pulled. And I also believe the only one in the set. So, out of six packs, we were able to pull five hits. There was one pack that didn't have something good in it. That is absolutely incredible and a fantastic send-off for Paldean and Fates. However, I will also summarize the hollows we got. Sorry, I bumped the camera. Try and fix that. In conclusion, I'll summarize these from worst to best. I would say, yeah, that's definitely the worst. I'm thinking about what, um, okay. I'm going to say that's worst to best. All right, so, starting with our, like, four rare hollows we got, we got a Cerulege, Mimikyu, Executor, so a lot of Psychic types, I'm just noticing, and then two Meg Mortars, so we actually didn't get anything except for the last pack, anything good in that final slot. Uh, we have the Fortress EX, the Terra Pokemon. We have two Baby Shinies, as they're called, in Hopip, a very cool one, and Tinkatuff, which is one of the cover Pokemon, so you can't go that wrong. Uh, we got one Illustrator Rare in this amazing-looking Palafin, and of course, the best card was also the first one that we got, this Pidgeot EX Full Art Shiny. So, yeah, we're going to wrap that down there. Uh, what a just incredible opening overall. Wow, okay. Um... Thank you all very much for watching. Remember to take care of yourselves. Mental health is important. And I'll see you all in my next video, which might honestly be... What is what is the next one? Temporal Forces? Although I have said that before, not open that. But we are very close to March, and that might genuinely be the next one we open. But even if it's not, I hope you'll stick around. And I'll see you all next time. So, ta-ta for now.